JavaScript ES6 for in of. In order to access values within an array, the keyword for can be used. Previously, in JavaScript ES5, a for loop using a counter was the usual approach. This would create a new variable, increment that variable, and then test to see if that variable was less than the total length of an array. In ES6, the for keyword can be used with two new additional keywords, in and of. A for in loop stores the current index value in a temporary variable. These are positions in the structure. A for of loop stores the current value in a temporary variable, values of the structure. So in these cases, instead of keeping track of the length of the array in these cases, or the length of another data structure, we instead care about the index for in or the value for of of a current temporary variable that is created. This allows us to get rid of creating additional counters and using counters to move our way through a data structure. Instead, we can either care about the index of a current value for in or the value of a current value for of depending on what we want. And again, a way to remember this is positions in a structure, what position is something in, and values of a structure, what values are in this, values of positions in. Let's move over to VS Code to look at another example. So here we have an array right here created on line 2, array example, with the values 1, 2, 3, and 4. Remember, an array is a sequence of values where the order is important. Arrays also start with an index of 0. So its positions then would be 0, 1, 2, and 3, the positions in the array. Let's look at an example of a for in loop starting here at line 5 and extending to line 7, this code right here. We're creating a temporary variable that will only exist right here within this loop, and it will be positions in using the in keyword with a for loop. So positions in this array for every position in this array, console log the position. So this would be 0, 1, 2 and 3, corresponding to the total length 4 starting at index position 0. 0, 1, 2, and 3, positions in the array. Down here on lines 10 through 12, we see the values of the array using a for of loop. In this case, we don't care about the positions but we're going to use them to get to the values. Again, because an array is a sequence of values, where the sequence, the order, is important. In this case, we have for of, value of the array. So for every value of the array, again, not caring about the total length, but for whatever values are in there, console log the value. In this case, it would be the numbers, one, two, three, and four. So the for in gives us the positions in the array, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Values of for of loop would give you the values of that array instead of the positions 1, 2, 3, and 4. We can see this through running the code using Node.js of the positions 0, 1, 2, and 3, and then the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 corresponding to those positions within the data structure within the array. Now, for in and for of loops can be used with other more advanced data structures, but they cannot be used with objects within JavaScript. The reason for this is actually pretty simple. In objects, there's no order, or that is, the order does not matter and cannot be guaranteed. Therefore, we cannot get the positions in an object because there are none, nor can we get the values of strictly using the positions because there are no positions. 
So for in and for of are primarily used with arrays, but can also be used with more advanced data structures within JavaScript. But again, generally are used with arrays because arrays are guaranteed positions because they are a sequence of values.